Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm doing something a little different. This was a highly requested post from some of my friends. They suggested that I should tell the story because trust me, I have a whole lot of stories. I have a whole lot of stories, okay? I've been through it. I've been there. I've There's probably nothing I lie. There's a few things that I can't relate to, but I can relate to a whole lot of stuff. So today, I'm just going to be telling you guys the time I caught my boyfriend cheating on me. Twice. Not once. Twice. Like, niggas just ain't shit. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. started my eyebrows and my eyeshadow and all of that but this is not what the video is about i'm just gonna be telling you guys on the time i caught this nigga cheating on me so um just a disclaimer if you know who i'm talking about please mind your business thanks anywho um i'm not calling any names i'm not saying who this ex was if this was an ex from years ago like years ago i was still a teenager this was years ago if you know who i'm talking about you know if you don't you don't okay whatever anyway so this was what year was this i would probably say this was 2013 when i just graduated i just graduated high school you know i was living i was you know doing my thing i was talking to this little this little boo, my little boo, my little thing, or whatever. If you guys see me looking down, I'm looking at a mirror so I can do the makeup. But anyway, I have this little boo, my little thing, or whatever. You know, we were going good. We were going strong. I thought I was all in love. I thought this was the one, blah, 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 blah. You know, stupid young girl shit. <clears throat> so anyway, where does the story begin? Oh, I remember. <laughs> So, um, this was, this, this was still in Blackberry days, guys. So, you know, this shit is old as hell. This was still in Blackberry days. <clears throat> but in Blackberry days, like, I had a, I had a Blackberry and he had, this when iPhones was just coming around. And he had an iPhone. So, he never used to use the iPhone like that. So, I was like, man, let me the iPhone because I liked I liked it. I was like, oh, let me use your iPhone. I want to borrow it or whatever. Okay, so, you know, this is my little boo, so he doesn't mind giving it to me. Let me stop calling him my boo. We were we were in a relationship. We were. This was my boyfriend. He was my boyfriend. This was, he was my boyfriend. Anyway, so I was like, oh, let me, your, let me use your iPhone. You don't use it, blah, blah, blah. So, this nigga gives me the iPhone. And I had it, like, okay, cool, thing. So I had the iPhone for a good while. And lo and behold, this dude was still signed in to all of his accounts, his Facebook account, his Twitter, all of that shit he was still signed into. But I'm not that type of girl that's going to be going through your phone and all that. Like, I wasn't into that. So I swear to God, I did not go through this man's phone. I didn't do that. Cool. But so one night, one night I was just chilling. I was using the phone, minding my business on YouTube or whatever. And he got a <clears throat> he got a Facebook message that popped up. So I was like, okay, whatever. I ignored it. I saw the Facebook name and everything, but it was just a simple hey. And it was a girl, mind you. It was just a simple hey. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm going to ignore it. Then the phone is like blazing. Ping, 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 ping. Like blazing off. Just ping, 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 ping. And the message is fucking loading up. So I'm like, the crazy girl in my head is like, go through this nigga phone. This nigga fucking play with you. Who you think he is? Da, 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 da. So I was like, man, I don't want to do this. I don't want to invade his privacy da, 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 da. so i was debating with myself don't go through this nigga phone don't don't go through this nigga phone so um i guess they stopped texting i guess they stopped texting for a while so 
it bangs again and then the girl was like oh are you coming this way so i was like so i was like coming what way sis so i went i popped i opened the message and i popped it up because i was on his account at the same time that he was for some reason i couldn't see what he replied i couldn't see what he said at that point but all in all she was like oh are you still coming and they had this whole long conversation about oh meeting up and baby this and how to, things like that like i can't even remember what the actual message was but all in all these niggas was talking like they were talking they were t they was vibing they were maybe having plans to meet up to juice or whatever so i freaked out like i was fuming i was ready to break this nigga phone up i was really wilding so i called him Oh, I lied. They, the girl was like, oh, are you going to meet me at, um, let me make up a place. Are you going to meet me at palace, at the palace? That's just make, that's just a made up place. Okay. Are you going to meet me at the palace? And from where he lived, that's like super freaking far. So I'm like, why the hell are you going by the palace and you live all the way up in the fucking oh you know like oh you live all the way so far from the palace why the hell are you going by the palace if you know so anyway i called this phone and i was like oh hey where you is and then he was like oh i'm on my way down the road with my boys so i'm like oh well i saw your message to that who what do you even call this girl name is Okay, we're gonna call her Fenty. I called this. I saw your message to Fenty, and it seems like y'all about to meet up to do some shit. And then he was like, "Oh no, um, that's not what it is. I you know I was just going down the road with my boy, and we was gonna link up with her and her friends. We just cool. Ain't nothing serious. Don't take it that way. Like, I think this nigga really thought I was." <laughs> This nigga really thought that I was stupid. So I'm like, and mind you, at the time, I was probably only 16, 17. So he really, really thought I was stupid. Like, he really thought I was stupid. So anyway, he was like, no, that ain't it. Don't do that. So I was like, I already saw y'all messages. Like, what are you saying? Like, I already know you full of shit. And he was like, no, it's not that. Don't leave. Cause mind you, we broke, we, we stayed breaking up. Like at that time, we stayed breaking up. Like we broke up every other day. So he did already know that I was about to fucking, I was about to leave his ass. Yeah, he knew I was about to fucking leave him. Like he, knew I wasn't playing no games with him. So anyways, after I busted his ass, he literally came by my house in less than and less than five minutes. Like, oh, what you doing going through my phone? Why are you going through the phone? I told you this girl, I wasn't going. I told you me and this girl ain't nothing. It's just my friend, blah, blah, blah. So me, as a stupid 17 year old girl, like, I let it go. I left it alone. I was like, oh, I love him. I'm gonna forgive him like a stupid ass. <laughs> like, what was wrong with me, honestly? So that was the first time. That was the first time that I caught him cheating on me. I went back, y'all. Like, I'm so disappointed in myself. I went back. I took him back. I forgave him. I was like, oh. They didn't meet up, so it's okay. Like, I caught it. This is uh, this is what I was telling myself, trying to be a stupid ass. This is what I was telling myself, like, oh, they didn't meet up anyway. I caught him, ha ha. Like you know, I thought I was winning. Like I thought, I thought I was doing something. After all of that, I don't know if this was a few months later or what. Honestly, I don't know. I would be lying if I told you I knew when this happened again. 
My Fenty pump is broken. Oh my gosh, why you don't want to pump? Rihanna, I need a new Fenty, thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, I took him back like an ass. And things were good for a while or whatever. You know when niggas realize that they fuck up. So they start being Mr. Faithful. <clears throat> and then there was this one time. There was this other time that I caught him again. So this is why you don't take cheating niggas back, ladies. Cheating niggas will forever be cheating niggas because they are cheating niggas. Like, don't believe that I'm not going to do it again. Don't believe the I'm sorry. Because he's not sorry. He's sorry that you catch him. That's all. Like, that niggas don't ever be sorry. Period. Trust me. They ain't sorry. So anyway, the second time that I catched him, it was... Y'all, I was getting ready for work, y'all. Oh, my God. If you've ever found out your nigga cheating on you when you're going to work, please comment down below because, listen. <laughs> anyway, so I was getting ready for work, and I stepped over at his house this night. And um, uh, he had already left. He had already been outside to the car or whatever and I was still in the room getting ready putting all my stuff together whatever so he left his phone and his keys again with the fucking phone like what is what is wrong with niggas anyway he had left his phone and his keys in the room so me being a nice girlfriend me and being the perfect girlfriend that I am <laughs> me being the perfect girlfriend that I am I was like oh okay I'm already late he's running late as well you know I mean, carry the keys out for him and his phone so he doesn't have to come back in. This is literally all I said. I wasn't thinking about looking at no phone. And then the, I think this was the first time because he's had a Blackberry before. This was the first initial time that he, I caught him cheating. The, set, that, the first one I just said was the second time. But this initially was the first story. I just remember, bang. Anyway, back to the story. So, yeah, I took his phone, and he had, like I said, this was still in BlackBerry days. He had an old beat-up BlackBerry. That's why he changed it to the iPhone. Anyway, yeah, he still had an old beat-up BlackBerry. Yes, I remember now. So, he still had his old beat-up BlackBerry, and I took it down to, and I took it, I took it down to him. Well, I picked it up to take it down to him. So when I, he had his phone face down, cheetah sign. <laughs> he had his phone face down on the bed. So I didn't even think anything of it. I literally just picked it up, picked it up off the bed, and tried and in attempts to carry it out to him. So I picked it up and it was on, and I saw a message she sent to this girl. And he was like, oh, babe. He said this, mind you. He was like, oh, baby, I'm going to be busy today. So I'll talk to you later. So this, it was like 7 o'clock. It was like 6, six 7 o'clock in the morning. So this mean you was up already from a long time talking to this bitch, calling her baby. This must be your, your other woman. This is what I seen in my head. So... I stormed out of the room, like, ready to tear his head off. Like, I was ready to chew him up. I was ready to tear his head off and everything. So, gone down now. <clears throat> Sorry, my accent is really jumping out in this video because I couldn't believe it. I couldn't. But anyway, gone down now. And, <clears throat> and his friend's there. His friend is at his house when I went into the kitchen area to like really slap his fucking head off. He was, nigga, are you, are you dumb? Are you crazy? Like, what's wrong with you? But anyway, I went to go really slap him off, asking him what the hell is going on. So anyway, his friend was there. So I was like, all right, I don't want to pull no scene in front of his friends. So I left it alone. So 
then all because i guess his friend came over to get a ride to work as well i don't know what they was doing i don't know but anyway he's on his way dropping me to work and i end up <laughs> i am in the car screw right up i so mad my face fix if you did touch me i swear i was gonna explode how mad i was because i said to myself this nigga calling another bitch baby I, like who does that like we working on building something we supposed to be together and you out here calling bitches baby like at seven o'clock in the morning like who the, this your wife that you talking to about baby what what i can't believe it so anyway he dropped me off at work and had the audacity to ask me oh what's your problem nigga are you dumb <laughs> like do you want me to slap you right now in front of your friend but anyway he dropped me to work i slammed the fucking car door and i went in so now <sighs> while at work I, I started texting him. I was like, um, who was the girl? Let me see. I'm going to call her London. I was like, who the hell is London? And he was like, Boy, what you talking about? I don't know what you talking about. And I'm like, really, nigga? I saw the message on your phone. So, you know, the famous line. What you talking about to my phone? And I was like, I wasn't going through your phone. Like, I, you left it there on the message, like, for me to see, but pretty much. Oh. And then niggas just so in fucking shit. I saw this shit with my own eyes. I know what I saw, and he can tell me. You know what this nigga tell me? Oh, he don't talk to this gal. He don't know what I talking about. Bruh. <laughs> I couldn't believe him. So all this while, oh, I don't know. Well, I know what you're talking about. You crazy. You freaking now. Da, da, da. All of this. Like, eyes the ass. Like, I stupid. Like, I'm the problem. Niggas ain't, listen. Niggas ain't shit. So he's blissfully, um, lying to my face like I'm a fucking ass. So I'm at work now. I couldn't. I was in the bathroom texting him. I'm at work now. I couldn't. I couldn't function. I was literally sick to my stomach. I was vomiting. I was crying. I was hysterical. Like it was really bad. So my supervisor came to me and she was like, <clears throat> and she was like, "Oh, are you okay?" And I'm like, "Oh, I think I ate something." <laughs> my supervisor came to me. And she's like, "Oh, are you okay?" And I was like, "Oh, I think I ate something bad. I want to go home." Like, I was literally bawling tears, like, at work. Like, come on, nigga. I was, I was, I was done for. Like, and she was like, oh, okay, no problem. You don't really look good. Got well, blah, blah, blah. Thankfully, my supervisor was pretty cool. Like, she was very understanding. I mean, minus the fact that I lied about the reason. But she was real, she, she was real cool, you know. So she let me go. And it was lunchtime anyway, so the day was almost over. So one of my coworkers dropped me home that day, and I was still bawling my eyes out. And she was like, <laughs> and she was like, girl, what did you eat? And I kept on lying on the fact that I ate something. I was like, I don't know. I just want to go home. So after she dropped me home, uh, well, during the rest of the day, this guy, this nigga was still blowing me up, lying to me. So after she dropped me home, he was like, oh, he asked me where I was because I wasn't answering him. And I was like, oh, I'm at home. And then he's like, oh, why? You couldn't stay to work. What you mean, why? I can't stay to work. After you, that caused my belly to break down. You can ask me why I can't stay to work. But anyway... He's like, oh, I want to come see you. Come take a ride with me. La, la, la. So I was like, no. I don't want to go nowhere with you. And then, you know, niggas being niggas and me being dumb. After a little bit of convincing, he got me to go with him. And 
he got me to go with him and then we were talking on things so here he goes oh you need to stop freaking out you have a good man girls out here wish they had a good man <laughs> Sorry, these things are so funny. Thinking back about it. Oh, girls wish they had a good man like you. They jealous of you. All of these dumb things that I started to eat up. But I still wasn't letting them. I didn't let them off the hook. I was like, uh-uh. I know what I saw, nigga. You ain't gonna be. You ain't gonna try to play me. I know what I see. And you can't tell me I see what I see. So, I still wasn't, I still wasn't believing him. So, he pulled the famous line that all niggas just say when they don't get catch. Oh, if you don't believe me, go ask her. Okay. Okay. I can go ask her. So, I promise you, I have never a day in my life. Went to nobody as no woman, okay? I've never went to a girl as a woman. Ever before this, of course. Before this. I never went to no girl as a woman. Like, I didn't see a, a reason for me to do that. Because if you are my man, you are my man. I shouldn't have to be going to nobody as nobody. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, anyway. Anyways. This is the following day. I went to the salon to do my hair. This was a Friday. Yeah, this was the weekend. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm... It's coming back. This was the weekend. So, this was Saturday. The next day was Saturday. So, I went to do my hair. So, I found this girl on... I found this girl's Facebook page. Because he had her stored in his phone as her Facebook name. Look at God. So she was staring at her phone as his face hard. So I saw Facebook name. So I found her on Facebook and I messaged her like, um, so I was like, you and this guy is talk. <clears throat> She's like, oh, you and this guy is talk. I said, you and this guy is talk. And she messages back like, yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's like, yeah, why? Y'all is talk to, y'all is talk to him. I said, I said, no, he's my boyfriend. And so she was all like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. He didn't tell me that he had a girlfriend. La, la, la. And I wasn't mad at her, honestly. I didn't curse her out or anything like that because she didn't do anything to me. She doesn't owe me any loyalty. She didn't owe me any loyalty, so I wasn't upset with her. I just wanted proof. I just wanted proof for this nigga to see that I know that you're full of shit. Like, I don't want you having me out here looking like a fucking boo-boo, a fool. So, after me and the girl finished having our conversation, I screenshotted the message. And then I told him, I screenshot the message and then I told him to come and pick me up. It was raining, like, it was pouring, raining at that time, so I couldn't catch a ride. So I told him to come pick me up from the salon. So when he comes, of course, he had his friend in the ride. So I couldn't freak out on him again. Because I'm not, I hate, I hate bringing people in my business. I hate. Stuff like that. So I didn't want to put his friend in an uncomfortable position. Like, that's just not cool. <clears throat> so I, wait, I waited until he dropped his friend off. And then I showed him the screenshot. So after I showed him the screenshot, he was all like, Oh, I already talked to the girl. I don't tell her stop messaging me. We can't talk no more because I have a girlfriend. Like, that ain't gonna work no more. Da -da -da. How do you just know you have a girlfriend after you don't get caught? You didn't know you had a girlfriend before? Like, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. I kid you not. Niggas ain't shit. And in that same breath, women are dumb. <laughs> 
ladies, we are fools, okay? Head fool here. I'm the head ass at this point because this nigga done cheated on me ample times and I still took him back. So it's like, what the fuck? But this all boils down to one thing and one thing only. You got to know your worth, man. Like, you can't have these niggas got you out here looking dumb because that's exactly what they be doing. And you don't want to be known as the dumb girl, stupid for niggas, because that ain't cute, sis. That is not cute, okay? I've learned my lesson. I'm never settling I'm never settling for anything in life. Like, you have to know your worth and add tax to that bitch. Because niggas can give you anything that you that you accept. And I ain't accepting no bullshit. Because that was pure bullshit. Okay? I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. Like, mm -mm. that wasn't it. Yeah, guys, that's the end of the story time. I hope that it was entertaining and that you learned something from this. Ladies, do not settle. These niggas ain't shit. Live your life. Like, it's okay to be single. It's okay to be by yourself. Like, you be good. It's cool. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned to more videos like this and other stuff. I have lots of more videos and more content coming you guys this week. So don't forget to click the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you like this. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!